Hello, I'm Andy Goldman. And I'm Jonathan Goldman. And we are the authors of The, the Humming, Humming Effect. Effect, Sound Healing for Health and Happiness. We have a lot of wonderful information in our book about conscious humming. However, today we're going to focus on nitric oxide and humming. We've been teaching conscious humming for probably the last four, five, six years. And it's wonderful. Humming has really taken on mainstream proportions. A lot of people are demonstrating and teaching humming. And we wanted to share with you some of the, if you like, techniques or secrets that we work with with regards to using humming, particularly to project nitric oxide. And Jonathan, I know that when we are humming, when we are consciously humming, uh, there are many physiological benefits that are happening in our body. Melatonin is released, oxytocin. However, nitric oxide is what we want to focus on today because it is a molecule that is released in our sinus cavity through conscious humming. And among other things, it is a vasodilator, which means that nitric oxide loosens your blood vessels in your circulatory system. It is also wonderful for neuroplasticity in the brain, but particularly it is a great antiviral agent. And when you hum, you get 15 times the normal amount of nitric oxide that is generated through breathing. And this is enough to really take care of a lot of the, shall we say, nasty critters that lodge themselves in the nasal cavity. So nitric oxide humming. And there are a few different, uh, if you like, aspects of this that we'd just like to share with you. So when we are humming, the first thing that we always do is take a couple of nice deep breaths. I'm sure many people have heard of diaphragmatic breathing. That is when we breathe in, the belly expands, we exhale and it contracts. And it is on that exhale that we begin and let that hum come out. Second thing is to hum on one consistent tone that is in a comfortable range for yourself, usually around the conversational range. So I'm going to do it, for example, you can see my lips were closed and I was making it on one note. And um, there are some people who believe that 130 cycles a second, 130 hertz is the ideal frequency, but it isn't. There is a whole bandwidth of frequencies within the audible range, probably from around 100 to around 200, that will work effectively for resonating our sinus cavity. So basically, you want to make a tone that is comfortable for you. It'll work then. We like to say, be in your comfort zone more is not better, louder is not better. You certainly don't need your, <laughs> your tuning fork or your, <laughs> you're looking to see if you have the right frequency because it's just going to be you and your humming in your body comfort. Mm -hmm. And I guess the other thing that we'd like to suggest is that when you do nitric oxide humming, you hum for I like to do it five times. Four or five times is the maximum amount of hums that you want to do for nitric oxide uh, release. Because what happens after that is that all of a sudden it plateaus and then it begins to go down. The cells need to be able to regenerate the nitric oxide. So they need about two or three minutes to regenerate the nitric oxide. So hum for four or five times and then wait three minutes. In fact, I like to hum five times, wait for three minutes, and that's the maximum formula for using nitric oxide humming. So what we're going to do is just guide you through a brief experience of conscious humming and the release of nitric oxide. So what we'll do is we'll take a couple of nice deep breaths and then we will begin to hum. So uh, uh, close your eyes. 
let's remember when we get done humming to be in a state of silence after the hum. Silence is the yin to the yang of sound, and it's so very, very important. So we would like to see, we're not going to really be in silence ourselves. We're going to talk a little bit, but if we were doing this on our own, we would hum for five times and then be in silence. So we'd like to suggest that you do the same. So if we are ready, we'll go ahead and close our eyes and we'll take a couple of nice deep breaths. And then on that exhale, we'll go ahead and start to hum. So. And now we'll begin to hum. Mm just a few moments allowing the shifts and changes to occur and the regeneration of the nitric oxide that has just been released. So we will leave you to your humming and your silence. And once again, when you do this, do the whole cycle two or three times. You don't need to do it more. And we know a lot of people who worked with uh, using humming to release nitric oxide for a lot of conditions like sinusitis. So it's very effective and very useful. And uh, we trust you'll find it very therapeutic. So thank you. Mm, thank you very much. And enjoy your conscious humming. Many blessings. Bye-bye. <laughs>